Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm teaching you Careless Whisper by George Michael on a C diatonic harmonica. This is my weekly free lesson. If you enjoy my lesson today, please click like, share with your friends, and most of all, subscribe to my channel because I put out a free harmonica lesson every single week. We're going to go through line by line and we're covering the tenor sax solo at the start of the song, which you heard me play at the beginning of this lesson. So line A goes something like this. Okay, and notice the bit in brackets at the start, that means I'm sliding up the instrument. So I'm probably starting around hole two, three maybe, and I just breathe in and slide. You will have heard it at the beginning of the lesson when I played it with the track, and I slide up to the seven draw, breathing in on the draw notes the whole time. Play that seven draw, and then we've got six draw, five blow, four blow. And you might be thinking, this sounds higher than in the bit he played at the start of the lesson. You're correct. I was playing a low F harmonica. That's because I was playing in the key of D minor, which is the original key of the song. So we're playing on a different harmonica, a C harmonica, so everything's going to be a bit higher. If you wanted to play with the original song, you need either an F harmonica or a low F harmonica if you want to use this tab. Anyway, line A. And then line B is the same, but we don't necessarily have to do that slide. So we put those together. One, two, three, four. Let me slow that down a little bit. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. And then line C. And we've got a bend there, a draw bend. We've got six blow, five draw, four blow, and then three draw second bend. Follows the same rhythm of the previous lines. Chaka chaka, chaka chaka. So line A, da da bum bum. Line B, ba da bum bum. Line C, da da bum bum. I'm singing the wrong notes, but the same rhythm. And then line D is line C just missing off the last note, which is good. That makes it easy for us. Six blow, five draw, four blow. No bend at the end there. So line C and D together. Again. If we try lines A, B, C, and D all together, I'll count as in on four, and then we'll get on to the last two lines, E and F. One, two, three, four. Great. And then the last two lines sound something like this. Uh, no, they don't. They sound like this. I love that rising line at the end there. So line E. We've got five draw, five blow, four blow, three draw second bend, two draw second bend. Now on these bends, you want to try and make them as gentle as possible. Try and whisper your bent notes because often bends can come out uh, kind of really honky. So we've got to try and... Uh, Whisper them as much as you can. Really brilliant practice for you to try playing those notes as quietly as possible. Singing all the wrong notes. <laughs> the last line, line F, really, really lovely rising line. And 
and we're starting on the two blow and then the two draw second bend and then the two draw and then the three draw second bend, three draw, four blow, four draw, five blow. Evenly spaced those notes. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da. And then you go in and play the whole thing again. Da -da -bum -bum, ba -da -bum. And then it would be into the melody. Let's have a go right from the start. Let's go lines A to F. I'm going to click my fingers to try and keep us in time. And I count us in on four. One, two, three, four. And then it would be in with the vocal. Very, very nice. Please take your time practicing this. We've got a few bends in there. You've got that little slide at the start of the line A as well to think about. The bends are going to make the difference. If you can get them quiet, if you can get them smooth rather than that kind of brash sort of in your face sound, then that would be absolutely brilliant for this song. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me today. I will be back next week with another free harmonica lesson. I'm not sure what I'll be teaching yet, but I take requests. So if there's a song or a technique you'd like me to study, please contact me. You can email me, contact at learntheharmonica.com, or you can find me on Facebook and Twitter as well. Just search for learntheharmonica.com. You can also always put comments beneath the video as well. If you have enjoyed this lesson today, please click like, share with your friends, and also, most important of all, click subscribe because I do a free harmonica lesson every single week. Until I see you next, enjoy your practice, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.